here we have example of uh, diffraction on uh, two slits. So this is the problem 10.16 from hacked uh, textbook. It says that in two slit setup, we have each slit width, which is 20 micron. This is B on the image. And this aperture is illuminated by plane wave of yellow light, 590 nanometer. And it says that the resulting front gopher fridge pattern consists of 11 narrow bright fringes that gradually decrease from the distance from the center. And we need to determine the separation between the slits, which is A on this picture. Okay, so here the most important information, or not the most, but one of the most important is that 11 narrow bright fringes uh, are inside of the first diffraction maximum. So as you remember, the diffraction on two slits consists of two terms, where the one term is the sync function, which uh, describes diffraction on single slit with, this, uh, with the same width, which is B. And the second term, it corresponds to interference from double slit. So practically this, the second term is the same as the term inside of Young's experiment. So we have these two functions, interference uh, on two slits and diffraction on a single slit, and they are multiplied. So one function is modulating the another one. And now we have from our information, which say 11 narrow, narrow bright fringes, it means that we have the first central maximum and then we have five maxima from both left and right side and the sixth one coincides with the diffraction minimum. So from here we can determine by uh, since we know the, this, uh, the slit width we can determine the theta angle or alternatively we could determine this distance on the screen which corresponds to first diffraction minimum. And uh, you remember the equation which we derived. Uh, so we, we have substitution beta in sync function. Beta is equal 1 over 2 bk sine theta. And then the first minimum occur, as we were talking, when the beta is equal pi. So when the beta is equal 0, we have central maximum because limit uh, sine beta over beta when beta approaching zero is equal one, but the second uh, when the sine beta is equal zero corresponds to beta equal pi. And then from here we can find, <coughs> of course, the k is two pi over lambda. So from this equation we found that beta times sine theta is equal lambda, and then the sine theta, uh, so we calculate the sine theta and arc sine of that value will give us 1.69 degrees. So this is the theta which corresponds to the dire direction from the slit to the first minimum on the screen. Of course, alternatively, if we would ignore sine and uh, saying in the small angle approximation, the theta is just equal lambda over b, we would get practically almost the same result. We will get theta is equal 1.69. So within this problem, uh, this small angle approximation would be, uh, would be fine. Nevertheless, so now we have this angle and from the first, uh, from that condition which we have 11 narrow bright fringes, it means, as we were talking, from uh, in addition to the first maximum from both sides, we will ha we have fa five addition maxima from both sides. It means that if we calculate, so this is one, two, three, four, five, and the sixth one, which corresponds to theta, is uh, vanishes. So it coincides with the diffraction minimum. It means that the phi angle, which corresponds to distance between the zeroth maximum and the first maximum, and the same as well from the first maximum to second and so on. So the angular distance is phi, and that is equal 
lambda is theta divided by 6 and that is equal 0 0.28 degree. So this corresponds that for, as we were talking for interference maxima, so since we have cosine square here, so the maximum appear each time when alpha is equal 0, that will correspond to the central maximum when alpha is equal pi, then cosine is equal minus 1, but since we have square it will be 1, then 2 pi and, and etc. So m pi. Of course for the first maximum, if we are going to consider the first maximum, we have, this, uh, we have angular distance, we have angle phi, and that will correspond to pi phase shift. Uh, so the alpha is equal pi here. So and that corresponds uh, to a times sine phi is equal lambda, which allows us to calculate a as 120 microns. <coughs> uh, as you remember during the lectures, I was showing the program MATLAB simulation program which allows us to calculate uh, the simulate the diffraction on two slits so here we can check our result will it correspond to reality or no so I will not comment this program since we already did it during the lecture so now it asks me the separation between two slits which I am entering 120 micron and the slit width is 20 micron and here we have the result of our calculation which is exactly what we were expecting so we have central maximum we have five uh, maxima until the sixth one will disappear so uh, of course the same result without considering uh, without going to deep consideration between this angle, we could get uh, from very simple considerations as well. We can say that theta is equal uh, lambda over b in the small angle approximation. Phi is equal lambda over a uh, from here. And since we know that theta over 6 is equal phi, then the simple so lambda lambda is cancelled and a is equal 6b which is exactly what we calculated so it will be 120 microns of course uh, that would be the short way uh, after someone get uh, enough experience and of course this way is using already a small angle approximation which may might not be valid uh, every time so please be careful during your calculation